Hi guys, happy Thursday. If you're watching this on Thursday, I might be uploading this today. I'm not sure yet, but happy whatever day it is for you when you're watching this. It is almost the weekend. I'm so excited. Um, I have a ring light on because it is like super rainy and nasty outside. And of course I have to drive in that weather. So yay for me. Um, I've had a little Teddy Bees RTS sitting here along with an L3 RTS and I tried filming it the other day but I got a phone call and I messed it up. So I'm going to try to film it today within like 20 minutes, 15 minutes hopefully. So let's just hop right in. It's a super small Teddy Bees RTS that I got a while ago. Um, you've probably already seen all of the RTS videos but I'm going to do mine. And then I have L3. So excuse my lisp because I have my Invisaligns in and I put a new tray in yesterday or last night. So they're a little tight, um, but I'm actually almost done with my Invis Invisaligns. I don't wear them a lot in my videos, um, but I am today because again, it's a new tray and I'm just trying to keep it in as long as possible. All right, so let's hop into Teddy Bee's I got three souffles and two tubs. All right, so I think all of these are repurchases except for one. Okay, so I got a rustic cashmere and cookies. I got one souffle of this in the pre-order and it's super good. It is roasted pine cones, signature sugar cookies, and cashmere cream. It's like a super creamy pine cone bakery vanilla cookie scent. It is just so good. Um, I'm not like a straight up bakery person. I used to like it, but mixed with the pine cones, it is just so good. Um, so I just picked up another souffle. I don't think I really needed more of that. Now I have two souffles. So one souffle will last me maybe two or three melts in my open concept downstairs because I chopped them up pretty small. Um, so really, I'm fine. I picked up another Harold Fine Hair. I got one of these in the pre-order as well. Warm chestnuts, smoky woods, sweet vanilla, cashmere cedar, and frosted sugar cookies. She does add that frosted sugar cookies to a lot of her blends, but it just makes it so creamy and sweet especially when you add it to like a super smoky, deep scent. It's so good. Yeah, I love this. This is a more sultry, woodsy, you get like that chestnut, um, cashmere cedar, and then you do get like a sweetness in there from the cookie. I really, really like this one a lot. That'll be like perfect for like the fall winter time. I did pick up a souffle here at the Late on the Beach and Strawberry Boom Boom layered. Um, I've never actually had these two layered together, but I've had her Strawberry Boom Boom and I love it. So Late on the Beach is a blend of beach treats and marshmallow clouds. And then her Strawberry Boom Boom is Strawberry Pound Cake Bath and Body Works type and Boom Boom Cream. So this is so good. It is just, her strawberry boom boom is so good. You get the perfect mixture of the boom boom and the strawberry pound cake. It's sweet and creamy and just so good. And then the late on the beach, you get that salty sea air beach treats. You get sweetness from the marshmallow clouds. It is literally perfection it reminds me of like just a really pretty body care sweet girly um i don't know i just feel like it would be perfect for like a nice sunny day and you just want something that's not bakery but you want something that's not like super clean it's just like a perfect fruity creamy um not even really fruity it's really the strawberry pound cake but it's just like a sweet, pretty, anytime of the day, 8% I don't know. Okay, 
So I got a tub here in Strawberry Vanilla Birch. I love Vanilla Birch and I got a souffle of this in the pre-order. And this was one that I was like, okay, I definitely want a tub in this. I didn't want to go too crazy with RTS because things sell out so fast. I did try to get like two of the newer tub blends that she put in the RTS and they jumped out. So I ended up with a super small order. Um, this is Strawberry Pound Cake, Bath & Body Works type, and Vanilla Birch. So, yeah, I love Vanilla Birch, and this is just a really nice blend. Um, Vanilla Birch is like a, um, exactly what the name is. I like Birch because it's not like... It's not like a wood scent that will like give you a headache. I mean, for some people it might, but for me, like it's not like a deep, um, like a uh, cedar or like, um, you know, like a, a deeper, like very strong wood scent. This is more of a, a more toned down wood scent because of that vanilla. And birch, I don't know, I just really like birch. But yeah, it's not like a super strong scent on cold, but Vanilla Birch also gives me like a more, um, I don't want to say resinous, but it gives me more of like a sandalwood vibe. And if you know what sandalwood smells like, it just gives me more of like an earthy note. Um, I don't want to say patchouli per se, but it just gives me like that earthy note. And I really like that. But mixed with the strawberry pound cake, it really just um, tones it down and just kind of just gives it like a nice sweetness and it's just a really good blend. So last but not least, I did pick up Evangeline. So actually this was added into her um, scents that she added for the RTS specifically. And I've seen this so many times that I've never tried it. So I figured I would just get it. I like a lot of the notes in here. So this is mossy oak trees, wild poppies, citrus, sandalwood, southern breezes, and warm amber. So the only thing I just wasn't too keen about was the poppies. But it is super strong on the poppies. I could just tell right away that's what that is. Um, but if I'm being honest, okay, first of all, it is super strong, super, super strong. The poppy oil must be like a very strong oil. Um, but I will say it smells clean. It smells very, very clean. I know a lot of people compare it to like a laundry softener, a, a fabric softener or a laundry detergent. Um, I see where they're coming from. This is mainly wild poppies. But again, it's more of like a clean scent. This is like a fresh air with wild poppies. You know what I mean? So this is the type of scent I feel like would be good with the windows cracked open. Now I can't do that because it's 100 degrees here, but windows cracked open, you're cleaning the house and you don't want like a lemon scent going or a um, cleaner scent. This is just fresh air, poppies blowing in the background. I get a little bit of citrus. Um, yeah, so I'll definitely use it. It's really pretty. I love fresh scents and I might even like it a little bit more on warm. I've heard great things about this um, and I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got to try it. So yeah. Oh, my um, sample that I got is the North and I love the North so much. I have this in my collection already. It is the perfect like winter scent for me. 
it is, um, I believe there's like a, a there's definitely a tree note in here. There's some cedar, I believe. Definitely woodsy scents, um, pine or, I don't know if it's Fraser fir or pine, could be both. Um, and I think there might be like cranberries or something. I love that one. All right, let's hop into my L3. I'm sorry guys, I always end up brushing when I'm getting ready to go to work because I just don't wanna take too long and it's raining. So I'm just trying to hurry it up a little bit. I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay, so this is the most recent L3 RTS, I think. I think. Um, here, order date May 3rd. So this is the May 3rd RTS. Um, I've been trying to participate in like all of our RTSs as long as I financially can do so um, because they're going out of business and yeah, my favorite vendor. So I have to just do it. Um, so yeah, I picked up some things. I haven't even really been requesting anything just because I love like within my scent categories, I love basically everything that people are asking for. I like earthy. I like some fruity. I like fall and winter scents. So, um, I've just been finding things throughout the scent request list that I like, and I'm just ordering it. So yeah, let's start with my samples. Again, these are everything I've already smelled because I was already filming this video before. Um, okay. So the first is a little scoopable sample. What's up beaches? I don't know the scent notes. This is so pretty though. It's fruity. It might have a little bit of like boardwalk mallow clouds or like boom boom maybe. Um, it's really good though. I do like that. I want to find out what's in that. Um, pumpkin pecan waffle spiced oat milk. That is so good. So it's pumpkin pecan waffles, but with like a pretty, a little bit of spice and creaminess from the oat milk. It is so good. That I really, really like. And cookie cottage, sugar cookie royale, Danish butter cookie, sugar shortbread, vanilla wafer, vanilla cookie, sweet bakery dough, super vanilla bakery blend. So cookie cottage. And just vanilla bakery. All right. So first and foremost, I got one bougie bar here. It's ombre. And this is Stormy Clouds. I don't remember what the scent notes are in this, but it's just one of those like aquatic. I think there's a rainstorm in this. Um, maybe like a black amber. I mainly get rainstorm and I do like the rainstorm oil. The rainstorm oil does lean a little floral to me, but I do like it on warm because it's just a really fresh aquatic scent. It's not really supposed to be floral, but it just smells a little bit like it. Okay. I this is I did request this. This is oatmeal cookies sugar cookie royale. Again, I'm not a huge bakery person, but I did chop this up. I had this in my collection and I chopped it up and I really liked it on warm. It wasn't super strong, but it just was the perfect combination of like a little bit of like spicy um, cinnamon oatmeal with like a super sweet sugar cookie. Now I will be honest, I don't know if the oils changed from I mean, that one was almost two years old. So the scent oil could have changed for her oatmeal cookies, but it does smell a little different. And it does not smell like the oatmeal cookies that I have. So yeah, but it's okay. It's 
Okay. All right. I picked up a purple sandalwood boom boom Palo Santo. I believe I have this in my collection or something very similar to it, but I really like her purple sandalwood. It's like a more powdery, earthy sandalwood. Yeah, it's really good. Mm. I really, really like her purple sandalwood. If you like sandalwood in general and you like um, patchouli, sandalwood type scents. Um, I would try purple sandalwood if you've never, it's super good. So yeah, got that. All right, I got a couple bunt packs. Here is cranberry marmalade. Today is October 3rd. So I love cranberry marmalade. And of course her today's October 3rd is amazing. This is just so good. Her cranberry marmalade is perfection. It is like the perfect mix of like a sweet cranberry and a little bit of spices added in. I love her cranberry marmalade. It is perfection. It's not, it's not artificial. It's not, you know, I don't know. Their cranberry is very, I feel like, different with a lot of vendors, but I really love the cranberry marmalade. All right, cookies with the claws is buttery gingerbread. Now, I did just say I'm not a huge straight up bakery person, but I do like her cookies with the causes. Um, I forget what's in it. This is just. A good bakery it's not like super sweet it's there's definitely some spice in there from that gingerbread um but it's like a nice like winter bakery scent because it has a little bit of that gingerbread in there um it's not too sweet so this is definitely going to be for like winter time and um i don't mind bakery scents that have like cinnamon and and cinnamon sugar and stuff like that, nutmeg. It just kind of amps it up a little bit so that it's not straight up like vanilla bakery or straight up like, I do like strawberry pound cake, but like not straight up like sweet, sickingly sweet. So yeah, and don't get me wrong, every now and then I will melt like a pumpkin pecan waffles or, um, you know, whatever, because I still have it in my collection and I still enjoy it every now and then. I'm just not like an everyday bakery melter. Okay, I got a silver spoon chula. I'm gonna miss these, even though I have so many of them, but they're so fun. I got two scoops. Horcrux, boom, boom. This is, so Horcrux Essential Amber Whipped Vanilla Patchouli Pink Orchid and Coconut Milk mixed with Boom Boom. I've had Horcrux before in a bougie bar and it was super light, but I figured I would try it again. Plus it's mixed with Boom Boom and in scoops, they're always stronger. This is so pretty. This is just like a sweet, body care, I would say. Um, pretty, sexy, it's white wax, amazing. Um, this is really good, I'm so glad I got that. I picked up Pink Sugar Patchouli Palo Santo. I know a lot of people like this one. Look at that wax. This I have in my collection, I have a good bit of it, but it is so good. You definitely get that patchouli in there, but mixed with the Apollo and pink sugar, it gives a little bit of sweetness. It gives a little bit of woodsiness. I love this so much. So glad I picked that up. And last but not least, I did pick up a loaf. I've not really been into buying loaves because it's so much wax and it's, it takes a long time to get through. But this just sounded really good. So this is Lord of the Rare People, Tonka Bean and Roasted Pine Cones. 
Lord of the Mer people is, I think it's like a more like earthy blend. I can't exactly remember. I think it's like an earthy blend with like some aquatic notes. So L3's roasted pine cones is more of like a, it gives me more of like a cologne vibe, like a cologne. But I definitely get some like aquatic notes in here, some woodsy notes. Yeah, the bottom I think is Lord of the Mer people. The top is roasted pine cones. Um, her roasted pine cones is a little bit different than some others I've smelled, but it's still good. Um, it's definitely something that I would melt in like the fall time, this blend. Um, the fall I think would be perfect for this because Lord of the Mirror people, I can't exactly remember, but I think it's more of like a um, earthy, but also like, I think there's some aquatic notes or I don't even know, but it's like that perfect transition into fall, I think. So yeah, that is everything I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys in my next video. I don't know what it's gonna be, when it's gonna be, but we shall see together. All right, have a great day guys, bye.